It's Umsum time! What is cryptocurrency? Forget it. I am launching Umsum currency. Oh, Umsum. <laughs> to buy Umsum merchandise, visit Umsum.com. <laughs> Simply stated, <laughs> cryptocurrency is a new form of digital money. Bitcoin, the first decentralized cryptocurrency, was released in 2009. Many other cryptocurrencies like Ethereum, Litecoin, etc. have been created since. Hmm. As compared to traditional money, what sets cryptocurrency apart is the blockchain technology behind them. In simple terms, blockchains are used for recording <laughs> transactions made with cryptocurrencies. They are extremely secure as the transactions are encrypted with 256-bit cryptographic keys. Hmm. Some advantages of cryptocurrencies over traditional money are they are more secure, transparent, and incur extremely less transaction fees. Hmm. Cryptocurrencies are currently not legally accepted everywhere. If they become legal, we will be able to use them to pay for stuff just like we do with traditional money. Hmm. Topic: Refraction of light. Huh? <laughs> Why does a pencil look bent in water? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was a very cool magic trick. <clears throat> now check this out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, stop crying. Huh? Your magic wand is not bent or broken. <laughs> Look, it is safe. <laughs> but do you know why your magic wand appeared huh? bent in water? Huh? Mm. Oh. It is because of refraction of light. Oh. Refraction of light is the change in direction of light when it passes from one medium to another obliquely. <laughs> so, what do you think are the two media here? You don't know? No worries. I will tell you. <laughs> they are air and water. Oh. When the light rays coming from the tip of the magic wand pass from water to air, they change their direction, that is, they get refracted. When these refracted rays reach our eyes, our eyes trace them backward as straight lines. <laughs> Due to this, the rays appear to come from a point slightly above the original position. Hence, the magic <laughs> wand appears to be bent in water. Oh. Similarly, huh? like the magic wand, a pencil appears oh. to be bent in water. <laughs> Topic, ultrasound. Why is ultrasound used in sonar? <laughs> Huh? Hey, looks like you're searching for a treasure hidden in a sunken ship. Hmm. Oh. Why don't you use a sonar? Hmm. <laughs> it will emit ultrasounds and help oh. you locate the ship. <laughs> you know what? I have a better idea. <laughs> No, a music system will make ordinary sound, so it is of no use. Don't fool me! I know that the music system is the right choice! <laughs> huh? See? You are not able to find the ship. Hmm. Now will you use a sonar? <laughs> huh? Look, you easily found the ship. Hmm. Do you know how a sonar could locate the sunken ship? Hmm. It was because of ultrasound. Oh. Ultrasounds are sounds having very high frequencies, which start from 20,000 hertz. So is ultrasound used in sonar because of its high frequency? Bingo, you are absolutely correct. Due to its high frequency, an ultrasound can penetrate to a greater depth 
thus helping us to locate the depth of the sea, sunken ships, etc. Huh? Huh? But I'm not able to hear the ultrasound. It is because human beings can hear sound frequencies from 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz. As ultrasounds have frequencies higher than 20,000 hertz, we cannot hear them. Hmm. Huh? <laughs> Topic Sublimation. Why do mothballs disappear over time? Hmm. <laughs> wow, you have a nice collection of clothes. But have you kept mothballs to protect them? Yeah, yeah. I would kept them a few months back below these clothes. Hey, where did the mothballs go? I placed them right here. Did you steal them? No, no. I haven't stolen anything. Mothballs mm -hmm. disappear over time. Do you know why? Mm -hmm. It is because of a process called sublimation. During sublimation, uh -huh. a solid on heating converts directly into vapor without passing through the intermediate liquid state. Don't lie. How is that even possible? See, I also hit a burger here many days ago. It did not disappear. Ooh, gross. Just throw that burger in the dustbin. <laughs> not all substances sublimate. Huh? Mothballs are made up of naphthalene. Naphthalene ah. has very weak intermolecular forces. Because of these weak forces, the mothball, which is made up of naphthalene sublimates, that is, it changes its state from solid to vapor. <laughs> now, this vapor is either absorbed by the fabric or it Whoa. escapes into the atmosphere, <laughs> causing the mothballs to disappear over time. Hmm. <laughs> Topic Density Why do firemen crawl in smoke filled rooms? <laughs> hey, remember, the upper part of the room will be filled with smoke. So, crawl while you are going inside. Ew, I won't. My legs will become dirty. <laughs> Why don't you listen? <laughs> Look, you're not able to breathe properly as you have inhaled a lot of smoke. Hmm. This happened because you did not care about the density of air. <laughs> well, I know all about cavity, but what's this new thing called density? Hmm. Don't worry, I will explain. <laughs> Density is the measure of mass present per unit volume. Oh. Lesser the density, lighter will be the object, and greater the density, heavier will be the object. So in this case, what is lighter, the air or the smoke? Wait, let me think. I guess the answer is smoke? Yes, you are absolutely hmm. correct. Smoke is lighter ah. than air. As it is lighter, it rises up oh. in the room and occupies the space at the top. Hey, where are you going? It is not over yet. The air being heavier than oh. smoke tends to remain below. <laughs> Hence, if we crawl, we will get sufficient oxygen to breathe and we can safely come out of the room without being suffocated. <laughs> Topic, pressure. <laughs> huh? Ah! Why is it difficult to oh. cut with a blunt knife? Mm. <laughs> Seems like you are hungry. Huh? Why don't hmm. you have an apple? Oh. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> no, don't use the blunt knife. Use the sharp knife. Hmm. Mm. Looks like you want to go ahead with the blunt knife only. Hmm. See? Huh? You are oh. finding it difficult to cut the apple now. Hmm. Now, try cutting with the sharp knife. <laughs> Hooray! Look, oh. the apple gets cut very <laughs> easily. Confused, right? Hmm. Let me explain. <laughs> All this happens due to a concept called pressure. What is pressure? Hmm. It is the force applied per unit area. Huh? That means the pressure will be directly proportional to force and inversely proportional to area. Huh? Now, we applied the same <laughs> amount of force on both the knives. Then, huh? why was the result different? Mm. This is because the area on which oh. the force acted was different. Oh. In the case of a blunt knife, the cutting edge is thicker. 
that means the area is larger. As a result, the force of our hand falls over a larger area of the knife, producing less pressure. Hence, it is difficult to cut with a blunt knife. <laughs> hmm. <laughs>